So what I have here is a JavaScript file that has a few simple functions in it that will allow me to template and build HTML from a symbolic expression representation of what it is that I want built. So to start it off, I've basically encapsulated everything that I know about HTML in this one function here, uh, about the syntax of how HTML is written. Uh, and then the only other function that we have for writing our HTML is this doc type function. And then from that, I've created a number of helper functions, which themselves use this HTML building function um, in some special relationships. So like in the case of a set of siblings, you may have one tag that you're wrapping them with and then an array of content. Uh, in the case of a link, it's always going to be an A tag uh, and you're going to want a reference, a title, and some text. So by creating this set of functions, you can all also capture your own expertise with HTML and kind of encode your assumptions about how HTML is written or how pieces or chunks of HTML fit together. So this is another function that I have here where anytime that you're embedding an iframe with content that has a width and a height and you want to make that responsive, this is the code that you need with that. So you need to, to wrap it in one tag and then inside have a second tag. So you can get all of that back just by running a function saying embed, here's the URL, here's the width, here's the height. So I've gone ahead and also created some snippets, which would be uh, HTML with pre-written content for specific purposes, uh, demo purposes or quick building. So this is where it starts to shine. So here, um, the default head includes the doc type, one meta tag, a second meta tag, and a title. And the only thing that we pass into it here optionally is a title. So if we give it a title, the uh, title tags content is going to be the title that we've given to default head. Uh, this is a snippet that I use in its HTML form quite a bit. And then I always have to go back and add the title in myself. So being able to template this way will allow me to be smarter in how I use my snippets as well. So here's another one where I have just a basic function, just a JavaScript function uh, for a generic mix-in for JS and CSS. And every time I start out with this and create something based on this template, I always have to pick a new name, which becomes the function name as well as an attribute name, both for setting it and for selecting it. And so by returning this, a script tag with this content, uh, when I give uh, a name to this, I get the snippet back with my name already populated into it. For a more advanced example here, um, this is a JS and CSS demo, and I'm going to supply optionally as many different plugins as I want. I'll give them a name and the part of the URL that would allow you to load it from uh, NPM, and then we'll see. Uh, and then the last thing that makes this interactive as a command line tool is if there is an argument supplied to the script when it's run, it will evaluate that and return it. So, for example, if we do node uh, HTML forever, which is the file name, and then give it this string tag p with a class of demo and content demo, we should get back a p tag with a class of demo uh, and the content demo as well. So let's hop over and see if that's true. It is. So everything's working as we want. I'm going to go ahead here and show the default head, which is probably one of my most used snippets. So I'm used to typing H-E-A-D and hitting the tab key and just that popping into my editor. But now I can actually build templates, including this, including with a uh, title as well. Uh, custom title, we'll see that be output. So that brings me to now the ability to template custom HTML very simply. So if we have um, a file here, cat. So here I've got uh, the default head with a title. Inside there's going to be one tag, which is a UL, 
and inside the ul its content are siblings all of which have the li tag and this is the content array so there's going to be one two three li tags with that content and then the last thing that we're adding into here is the generic js and css demo and so if i were to now do node html forever and then say echo cat we'll get back the rendered HTML here. So you can see there's the default head with our uh, title, which was right here. Uh, you'll see the UL, and it has three siblings inside of it with the content one, two, and three, and they are the LI tag. And then at the end, there's the entire JS and CSS demo, but the default demo. So we've actually got another um, file here that we can test. This one's a little bit more advanced. So this is our default head with a title. Inside there is just a div tag with the text demo inside. And then we're using our JS and CSS snippet, but we are optionally loading the element query plugin and we're gonna name it EQ and then as default content inside of the JS and CSS snippet, uh, we're gonna put this here, which uh, uses this EQ element query library that we're bringing in. So even though it's using the same JS and CSS snippet, the code that's being output is gonna be a little bit different and already set up for us. So for that, I just execute plugin demo. And here we have the same, the default head with the title we have our demo div, and then we have our JS and CSS snippet. However, it's already populated with a library where we've given it the custom name over here, um, the library name over here, and our default content is being populated into the right spot in our thing. So we can uh, save or run these different demos. We can build them very quickly, um, customize quite a bit about them, or even, uh, compose this kind of code with other functions. So as you've seen here, uh, a lot of these snippets just translate directly to, um, all we're doing is adding this right-hand side argument to pass through uh, on the right-hand side, and then this becomes a modular reusable piece of code that we can work with and even give custom arguments to. So I'm gonna use this quite a bit for templating HTML, generating the things that I need. Um, who knows, maybe I'll be able to scale this up even to building an entire website. I'm gonna play around with it.